Rafi Bujikanian joins us now. So Rafi, walk us through how we got here and exactly what he is saying tonight. Adrian, this is the latest development after a series of stories by Global News surrounding Han Dong. The latest being that he allegedly in February 2021 told a Chinese diplomat that Beijing should hold off on freeing Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, the two Canadians it was holding imprisoned, because that would favor a conservative government returning to power. Now, these are not allegations CBC News has verified for itself. Global News is citing two unnamed national security sources. Here's what Dong had to say for himself. What has been reported is false. And I will defend myself against these absolutely untrue claims. But let me assure you, as a parliamentarian and as a person, I have never and I will never and would never advocate or support the violation of the basic human rights of any Canadian, of anyone, anywhere, period. Now, pressure has been mounting on the governing Liberals to have an independent public inquiry into allegations of foreign interference by the Chinese government into the 2019 and 2021 elections. Of course, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister, has refused to do that so far, instead naming a special rapporteur to look into the issue. We're still waiting for reaction to this latest news. So far, one of the opposition party leaders, Yves-François Blanchet from the Bloc Québécois, says this just underscores the need for a public inquiry and adds in a statement that he wouldn't be surprised if Han Dong eventually steps down as an MP completely. He also says the Liberals have lost the credibility to have any say in how a public inquiry should be conducted, Adrian. All right, critical to keep watching this. Ravi Bujikani in Ottawa, thank you.